Welcome to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. In this series, Farf and I open 10 Master Packs and 10 Secret Packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel each week to try and improve our decks. After that, we'll play in a best of three match to determine that episode's winner. There is one catch though, neither player is allowed to craft any cards other than in one specific situation. The winner of the match gets an extra 5 packs the following week, while the loser is allowed to craft any one card of their choice. Also, every 5 episodes we introduce a new change to the Forbidden and Limited list where we ban and limit a handful of cards. Tune in every Wednesday at 5pm Eastern for a new episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. YouTube, welcome back to another iteration of the Master Saga where we are moving on forward with potentially a 3 0 sweepy stake hot streak here. What can I say? Access Code has been a very good boy, but this week we don't get to play with Access Code Talker, so let's see if we can uh, pull some interesting decks today and try work with something a little bit different. Here's 10 Master Saga packs upon which we have, it looks like, no ultras. Hmm. How cruel, Konami, how cruel. Cypher Soldier, let's go. Wall Disruption, you better know I'm putting that in my deck. You better know that that is going straight to the collection. Well, if I did want to try play Virtual World, I'm sure somehow, some way, we'll definitely get access to uh, Nyan Nyan and Lulu. Our first holo for this week is... <laughs> I think I have a couple of scraps, I'm pretty sure. Another holo. Okay, nope, we got debated. Am I gonna pull anything here today? Am I, am I getting anything here? Another holo. Has to be something, surely. White Aura Whale and Photon Stream of Destruction, baby! I wanna go back and watch some Zexo now. Just Kite's duels, no one else's. Gaia Strio, useless. And... Divine Neos! Okay, maybe this opens up the pack with Brave Neos and Neos Fusion, maybe. At least we got an Ultra. I mean, better than nothing. All right, anything here? Oh my god, wow, this is tragic. I like, just didn't get anything this week. Last holo, give me a nice secret pack to go back into. Herald of the Arclight. Uh, okay. One ultra and five supers. This is quite bad, isn't it? Okay, so last week did not go great. I'm going to be honest, we did not win and also we did not pull a single ultra rare. Luckily though, that means for this week we are guaranteed an ultra rare out of the master pack. So let's see what we can open in today's video. We really need a new deck to go for. I think the 60 cards are behind us. We're not gonna play 60 cards anymore. Okay, not a lot of hollows here, but two ultras potentially and uh, one super. Let's take a look though. <laughs> we really need a new seeker pack, a new archetype to go into because the 60 card chaos is simply not working. Um, although maybe if we got like another light and dark pack, we could actually continue playing like some of those cards. Okay, here's a hollow though. This is for sure going to give us a good seeker pack right here, I promise. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Lord Gaia the Fierce Knight. Oh, three hollows. Infernities. Drama Church, which doesn't unlock a seeker pack, and Black Wings. I would consider playing Black Wings. They have a lot of good cards. And that is like a completely new direction as well. Nothing out of there. I guess I'd have to see like what rarity uh, Whirlwind is. <laughs> we pulled Bora too. Okay, the game really wants us to play Black Wings, I guess. But what if this ultra rare changes things up? That's the real question. Three Hollows again. Ancient Gear Hydra, Grid Sweeper, and Fossil Fusion. Unless the Ancient Gear pack unlocks the uh, Machina cards, but I don't think it does. That's like uh, Machina plus the Infinitrax, I think. Oh, two Hollows. Fire Fist and Cybris Enchanter. Royal Rare! <laughs> um, what does this card even do? Does this unlock like the Axis Code pack? The Code Talker pack? I don't think so. Man, we've pulled like a number of Royal Rares on this account. Final pack here. TG Hyper Librarian. Probably won't go into the TG pack, but a very good uh, pull just in general there. We really don't have a good level five synchro monster, so this is actually pretty playable. Let's see what 10 packs of Rulers of the Deep gives us. This could have been three ultra rare Naturios. I'm just saying. Okay, pack number one has a hollow. Tooth outside the magic cylinder. Pa 
power of the guardians. Oh my god. If there is ever more monkey cards, this is it. Also, we got multiplication, which is a good cybers card. That was a very good first pack. Let's see if we can uh, keep high rolling. All right, what do we have? Okay, that's very good. And over here, we got our first field spell! Pacifist, the Phantasm Spitty. So, if we're gonna try and build this deck, this is one way to do it. And uh, we have an Ultra! Alright, hopefully it's not from the pack, thankfully, because the pack Ultras aren't very good. <sighs> no comment. Ultra not from the pack, that's glorious! That's unfortunate that we didn't get the right field spell, but we did get an Ultra, and it is... I still have a Harpy deck, by the way. It's significantly weaker than Doug's, but I hurt his deck by putting the cards to one. I mean, Featherstorm's a good frickin' card, huh? <laughs> Got Queen. I'm losing out my luck on field spells, it looks like, and I don't know if Neon Dedalius is gonna get us anywhere. Another Ultra, and not from the pack, that's beautiful. Damn it, then pull uh, Pacifist. There's an Aratron, but our Ultra here is... What is it, like, my, my second Y-Strix? All right, um, still no more pacifists. And the formula synchron. <laughs> Pack number nine. Didn't get any torrentials and only one field spell. There's a lot of hollows in here, but it's very deceptive because they aren't very good. Here is the final pack. Sangan. Welcome aboard, Sangan. Okay, second field spell. And Fury of Kairoshin, the Torrential Searcher. Okay, now we can say that this was a satisfying pack opening. I think we put the five bonus packs back into the set, try finish off the play set of field spells, and maybe get another Torrential or Kairoshin. A holo. Kairoshin, Kairoshin, Kairoshin. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my God. Pack number two for this week is another holo. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nothing here. Third! That's it. We finished the playset. That's huge. All right. We are now pacifying this man this week. Here we go. Our final holo is another white person. No offense, white people. I love you. Come on, Torrential. Give me one more Torrential and I will be uh, a very happy pappy. All right. Final pack. We're looking for the tribute that is Torrential. Come on. Adamant Spader Relief is a good card. Whitefish Salvage, and... Oh, god damn it. Never lucky. And a Diva. Oh, do I have one more? Do I not know how to pa count? One more pack, apparently. I don't know how to count. Come on, Torrential. Come on! Uh, can't complain. I think we're gonna try to get the deck building and see what kind of pacifist deck we can come up with. Okay, so we are gonna go into the fossil pack. This one has fossils and a bunch of rock monsters, which is great for our Adamancipator cards. And it also has some paleos. There are three archetypes in this pack, so I don't think we'll actually pull enough for a true paleozoic deck, but any paleos are good to pull. So let's go in here and see what we can get. I would like to play Adamancipators, it would be pretty cool. Um, fossil fusion seems like a good card and the fusions seem pretty good. Our luck is turning around. <laughs> Going from last week pulling no ultra rares to this week pulling presumably a bunch of ultra rares, this could be a pretty big deal. Canadia, wine of shark, that's pretty funny. We're gonna have to read a lot of the fossil cards if we wanna play them though, because uh, I really don't know what they're gonna do. We pulled a second fossil fusion. Like, I wanna play Adam Emancipators in a rock deck. We've never gotten a chance to do that. What do we got out of here? Oh, <laughs> that's their boss monster, right? Oh, it's not that good, but it's okay. To be honest, no one expects you to start reading cards now. That is probably true. That's kind of like my thing, right? I'm not reading. <laughs> okay. Kind of a wasted uh, ultra ray there. Is Skull King the good punishment target? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> um, I don't think so. The other one has the uh, graveyard effect. It's like Skull Knight, I think. Time Stream. Interesting. Also, Olenoids and Dinomiscus in that pack, too. Two Ultras? Oh my gosh. Place it a Fossil Fusion? <gasps> I mean, that one sucks, but place it a Fossil Fusion? What's going on? This is like the exact opposite luck. Also, I think we have a place out of Canadia, by the way. The only thing that's going to be holding me back this week is that I don't know what any of the cards do, but I think uh, our pulls are pretty good. They're like Invocation, right? Last pack here. Oh, one more pack, actually. Let's take a look. Like, what do I even use the craft on? Two hollows in the last pack? Okay, nice. 
Fossil Dyna, that's really funny. We're gonna have to do some labbing here to figure out how this deck works at all. YouTube! This is what we came up with. We found the extra field spells, and after doing some testing on none other than, of course, the prestigious, the world famous, the greatest, the best, Silver 2 came to the conclusion that I wasn't seeing enough field spells. Just Pacifist by itself is great when it gets going, but the problem is that if you don't get going, you're sitting with a bunch of spells and traps in your hand that don't do anything. And so to combat that, we have put in a small generator engine. Yes, we're going back to our roots somewhat, kind of, maybe. This is the list here. It's absolutely awful and terrible, not even close to playable, but I believe that we can do something with just generic good staples and one card engines like the field spells. I think they're pretty auto win if you draw them, so hopefully, you know, we'll, uh, we'll pull it. Okay. We're gonna craft Block Dragon. Um, it's kind of hard choosing between Block Dragon, Gallant Granite, and then Dragite, but we don't really have a water for Dragite. We only have this one because we don't have a uh, Helk. So I think Block Dragon is the right call. You can search it with Shell Knight if you need to, but uh, this might be an episode where we lose this episode and then we can craft uh, Gallant Granite next episode. But I think that this deck is already pretty strong even without the Block Dragon, so we'll have to take a look and see though. But this seems like a pretty good deck. Uh, we did pull three copies of Fossil Fusion, so it seems like we have to play this and we have a one of every uh, fossil fusion monster except for one of them we didn't pull but uh let's see how it goes this week hopefully we can actually like win a game at least we're ready to go believe, believe in me content believe in me he doesn't look like he believes in me chat ah <laughs> uh, all right let's go we're going you going first or second Doug? i think yeah yeah i think we're going first okay you're going first sure all right well that gives me more chance to draw one of my ace cards yeah Let's see. Did you? Uh, you swore off sixty. I pretty. If uh, I'm pretty I sure, if I'm not mistaken. 60, yep. Just good old consistent Andy. Oh no, not quite. You're over forty. Hmm. Just forty-two, but. Okay. Oh, the pile. the pile. <laughs> Fossils. Okay. No, oh, it's gonna God. miss. Of course, it's gonna miss. Oh, it always what misses. What do you mean? Of course, you have no idea how many rocks are in this deck. <laughs> I mean, understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Pass. Okay. Fair. There's uh, like three times as many rocks in the deck as what I ooh. played in Adamant Spaders last time. <laughs> I'm going to begin with Fury of Kyrushin. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's a good pack to go into. That is uh, a Torrential Tribute Search. And now mm -hmm. we're going to activate my Generator Boss. No, Boston. you're not activating Generator Boss. <sighs> You see, Doug, there are so oh many garnets gosh. that it doesn't even matter because... No, why are you back on this? I just stopped caring at this point. Oh, uh, I don't know, Three man. It's... Macro. Four Three macro. Three. Set five, five macro. baby. <laughs> we set five. Let's go. Um, yeah. Shit. <laughs> You see, Doug, I've had one too many bad days with code talkers yeah, yeah. now that access code's gone. <laughs> um, let's go... Oh, no, please, not one single copy of Cosmic Cyclone. Yeah. No! Let's see if it goes through. My entire strategy has now fallen apart. I mean, you still have five back row to push through, so let's see how that goes. <sighs> Surely this my, time this will hit, though. My, my whole plan has, uh, unfortunately been foiled. Okay, nice. Actually, like the best hit. Some Quacky Meru's in here. Ice and Soldier. Yep. Okay. Uh, so what does Soldier say? This card is destroyed by a battle or sent to by a card effect. Add Fossil Plays Fusion. Yes, I probably don't want to Torrential this guy, do I? Um... You don't have Quaking. I do not have Quaking. <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, oh, you're about to flip up drowning. That seems like a far fetched thing to do. <laughs> Magic cylinder. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, sure. Two thousand. That's not bad at all. Uh, no. Five thousand to go. Go ahead. I was thinking of holding it, but I'm clearing up a spell and trap zone in case I draw yeah, something I need. I think that makes sense. Uh, reveal a rock monster, eh? Okay. Do we have block dragon yeah, no. up there? Oh no, this, wait, is that not what that does? This isn't a Kawaki Mirror, this is a Fossil card. Oh! Just reduces oh, attack points, I, just, so. I assume they all work that way. Well, Doug, you know what they say, at f f first you don't succeed, TRY AGAIN! <laughs> <laughs> Off the top, baby! Uh, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, Alright, go ahead, Chief. We're back in the game! All I'm saying is there better be Stop! comments in this video that's like, Farfa plays Stop! too many trap cards. Um, oh, I so no! bad against the deck. I can't even believe it. Um, Third one's coming. I guess I Third one's are coming. Talents! Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, you are brave putting talents into your deck and sealed. Dude, I think it's good. I don't, I don't know. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Alright. Miss, miss, miss. Miss. Fuck. Miss! Nice. Okay. How much damage is this? 3,000? Yeah, I think I just attack. Okay. <laughs> understandable. Man, Seeker has 1,200 attack. That's, like, kind of crazy, actually. Dude, yeah, in a situation like this, that's massive. I, yeah. G giant. Huh. Pitiful weathering soldier, I see. Yeah, it's having a hard time right now. Oh, There's probably some like dang. lore reason they explain in the anime that it reduces its attack. Like, it gets smaller oh. every. Oh, you're passing? Yep, didn't oh, draw the third no. boss stage. I like how you specifically banished both of them. That's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, you're not getting them back. Miss. Hit. Chimera's Hit. supplier. Hit. And the blue stone. Uh, so you have 2,000 on board. Uh, yep. Four. Oh my gosh, letting that go through. <laughs> letting well, the draw go through. Yeah. I'm kind of scared here. I don't know if uh, I could call this a good position. Well, let's see if you have two trenchels, I guess. <sighs> Played like a fiddle, huh? All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. You ever read the article, Who is the Beatdown, Doug? I've read it. I've read it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I like how you bring back Soldier specifically. Dude, this card's crazy. <laughs> it's like, I'm on a clock right now. He's a beefy boy. I don't know what to tell you. Look at this guy. 2,000 attack? Insane. I hate this, but this, I think, gives me two more turns? <laughs> it's like... I don't know, we're kind of in monkey mode oh right now. You know? Oh my god. Oh shit, I forgot! I wait until the damage step, I think. This did nothing. This literally achieved anything. If anything, it took 200 more damage, so it is what yeah, it is. Yeah, you took 200, and now the weathering is permanently at 1,000 instead of reducing. But... Oh god, wow, that was not great. All right, go ahead. All right, we got one huge <laughs> top deck here. Here we go, here we go, this is it. <gasps> I think you forgot to put a win condition in your deck. Uh, excuse me, I just drew stage. a new ship, baby! Oh my god. <laughs> new ship! <laughs> Let's go! Wait, why is this not live? What then? is this? Um, oh, I mean, I surely, see. yeah, the pacifist cards are in there, but like. Oh Alright, uh, so if this is sent by card effect or battle? This is destroyed battle, by yeah. battle or sent. Oh, battle as well, Jesus. Um, yeah, this card's crazy. Yeah, that's quite good. Um, what's Canadia that? Did you know that the uh, fossil pack happens to also be the Paleozoic pack? Oh, really? What? Yeah. Randomly really good. Um, 2000. Oh, God. This is not. Oh, no. See you later, new ship. Better have an out to this. Oh, no, you don't have anything. Oh, you got something. Nice. No, you no, I got nothing, dude. Oh, oh God! Three back row, man. Okay, so that lost wind uh, play could have got me one more or two turns or something, I suppose. Yeah, uh, so that was a bit rough, but <laughs> no, well played. Uh, we're in real prison Yu-Gi-Oh territory hey, right now. You're uh, the one using all the trap cards. I yeah, better see I know. the commenters complaining. We're just, <laughs> we're just, we're just punching back and forth. I think we're always going first, right? Like. Surely I'll just draw boss stage. Okay, well, I mean, clunky hand, but it works. Uh, we're gonna go with Pacifist, the Phantasm yeah. City. <laughs> so, one he, back. Row. So here's the thing. Here's the thing, Doug. Um, yeah. What happened was I was trying to play Pacifist and I wasn't drawing enough field spells. So I was like, Oh, oh right. Let's Add play four of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with that. Okay. Yeah, I am just going to uh, set our cards and pass. Okay. Um, and fits. <clears throat> I know. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Gosh, I wonder if you have. I know that you've pulled 
I mean, you can only, only play one, but I know that you have Metaverse. I wonder if you have that. I'm going to be really mad if you drew that one of. I have boss fight! <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Let's go Dinomiscus. We try again with the field spells. <laughs> we try again. Uh, activate boss stage. Oh my gosh, I drew it off the fucking boss fight! <laughs> well. No you see, way! Old man say no. Oh my god! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I'm this is so insane. I can't sick. handle this. Okay, I'm yeah, sick, sure. bro. That's Look at that animation. Look at wow. that animation. Yeah, that was so crazy. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, now we got a game on our hands. Yeah, here yes, we, we go. Yes, we do. Uh, we're going yeah, to summon Nithog here. It is Solemn Negate Strike. Summons. Okay, sure. Yeah, Black Horn of Heaven, I suppose, is probably closest. Normal summon. Normal summon. Flip up a tuner. Ooh, okay. Special summon. What do we have here? Six plus two is eight, and we're activating this. I think you okay. always just hit Adamantipator monsters. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. Ah, bloss. Ah, bloss. Flip summon a level four and make Baron. I just realized I forgot to put a bunch of cards in the extra deck. Do we have Leonite? <laughs> Leonite control, baby! Leonite. Yeah, we do have Leonite. Uh, we definitely have to get rid of that, though. <laughs> I really kind I kind of wanted you to just have Leonite, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh yes, this card is once per turn. This deck might be Wait. good if it wasn't once per turn. Oh this doesn't do what I thought it did. Pause champ. Uh, okay, let's flip Shell Knight. <laughs> the fuck is this? Yeah, Shell Knight's pretty silly, huh? Uh, what does it do? What a silly little guy. Okay, you're crashing it and activating yeah. something. Ooh. <gasps> ah! <laughs> <laughs> block dragon! <laughs> yeah, let's let's search block dragon, I think. Oh my god, that's so funny. Maybe I should have just kept it in hand, but I feel like it's a pretty good card just to have on the That is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh, um man. Chad, I thought well, this one could <laughs> We go again next yep. turn. All stage oh, time. Not... Summon Hella from the deck. <clears throat> oh, another Seeker. Yeah. I don't like this bar on the floor, potentially. You try and get through a Nithog, sir. Let's use Seeker. Nope. Miss, miss, nope. miss. Nope. Miss? No! Nope. Not the best one! <laughs> Transvorcer pointing at the net hog, huh? Yeah. Didn't play around Zone it, Farfa. Placement. Yeah, I should have played around the Geonator. Should have played around it. Um, I like I I don't really have a choice, I suppose. Hmm. Yep. <clears throat> okay. You block dragon. Monster. What do you do with block though? <gasps> Got some. Do you have good link monsters? No. What have you realized? Oh my gosh, I drew all the level twos. I can't search researcher. Ah! Oh. <laughs> so unfortunate. Wait, um, you drew all the level okay. twos, and it means you have researcher in your hand. No, I just only have two copies of Seeker. You need two level twos. Oh right, yeah. Okay, so one two. is stuck in the deck. I see. I see. Yes. Yes. Oh no, um, guys! I only worse. drew Seeker. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I go for this guy. I was not yeah. considering that. I was like, well, yeah, Black Dragon. Like it resolves. Did you normal set this turn? You normal Seeker, right? Yeah. Banish three for block. You are bringing him out. Yeah. Sure. This is actually just terrible. I thought I could. Oh man. Uh, could be. I think we have to flip quick. Oh my Mirror god! Force. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. That will uh that'll do it. That's pretty good. All right, end phase. We're gonna use Hella. Yep. Gonna tribute one of these tokens and bring out Bloss. Hey, I mean, that's the way to use the tokens, I guess, before they leave. Yeah, pretty much. I guess so I could the problem is that this field spell right. only summons tokens when you special a generator on your opponent's turn. I think I'd do it like this. 
Yeah, so I'm going to tribute my Ash and my Nithog to keep Hella on board, and I'm going to summon... Uh, oh, shit. Okay. The Velgus. And then I'm going to pass turn. And then on your turn... I'm going to activate the effect of Hella. It tributes then targets, right? Tribute generator then target. Yeah, okay. So Hella tributes the... Oh, no, it doesn't tribute its... Oh, I can't bring it, the same monster back. Yeah, oh, that's unlucky. Uh, whatever. I mean, it's still Nithog. And then we get the tokens. See, I thought it worked like... You know how, like, Lightsworn Lumina, when you, like, discard and special, you, oh. can, di you can special the same guy you discard? Mm -hmm. I assumed it worked the same way. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, here's Raigeki. Yes, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I guess oh none of that even mattered. Oh my gosh. It finally happened. Wait, what have you done? Flint so finally Cragger. finally activate a fossil fusion card. Oh my god. Flint Cragger. Oh, am I just dead? Um, 23. Okay, so this sends... Okay, so I send this one. <sighs> um, no attack with Crusader. But... Oh, I can do that, right? This... Yeah, wow, okay, so I can do... Can you win? Effect. I think so. I just gotta read these cards. Oh, it burns too, great. Uh, inflict 500, then if False Fusion is a grave, you can return to your grave one of your banished cards that is also Fusion or mentioned it. Okay, add Quackimero Ice. And then actually this? No, oh, this should be game, right? Because I can use my Banish this, reduct your hand. Okay. Activate Fossil Fusion. Oh, nay. Yeah, I can use... Oh my gosh, you actually are playing high levels. That's how this works. I was like, how can I summon this? But you're playing high levels. Darn. Foiled again. Summoning... Skull King. Fossil Warrior Skull King. Oh my gosh, the Fossil Fusion actually worked. So Does Fossil like Fusion, which I've only activated once, is an ultra rare and I pulled three of it, but like I haven't gotten a chance to use it up until now. Oh, that's unfortunate. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, Man, I can't I believe our pacifist. Your... This can attack twice? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I think the generators are your 60 cards, you know? Like, Maybe, I, I don't know. I thought it was going well. Um... <laughs> Yeah, Are I thought I was in a really good spaces? position until Raigeki. Okay, let's take a look at the the old deck of randomness, the deck of many things. What uh, shenanigans will we get for next episode or this episode? Let's see, I have look. no idea what's in here, so I'm just I'm just excited to see whatever comes off the top. So draw a card. Snatch steal. Okay. Snatch steal. Both players declare one card from their opponent's collection and then they steal that card for the next episode only. You may not steal the stolen card back, of course, and this episode's winner chooses second. Hmm. So it's a one episode, kind of like a one episode ban, but also you get the card. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like you can't use it, right? Uh, right, yeah, okay. stealing from the collection. So I could hate steal to like prevent you from using a specific key card. Right. And just not use it myself, so it's like a soft ban. Or I take a good card of yours that I actually really want to use. Yeah. Um, like can you tell me what your virtual collection is like? Do you own a copy of Lulu? Um, yeah, I'll tell, I'll tell you. I know that you've been struggling to get that one. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your three, uh, whatever level six synchro is called. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. It was, uh, could have been, been any of them. Um, I only have the level six synchro <laughs> that you have three of. Oh, not a, oh, damn it. Okay. Yeah. Um, God, I don't know. How about everyone tunes in next week and they'll find out then? Oh. Or do we have to do it right now? Right now. Because like, we need right to now? know when we're deck building next week. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. God, I'm trying to think of all your key cards. I mean, it's Ice Dragon, I guess, is just the generic good one. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> you're really gonna go for Ice Dragon? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> like, like, wait, wait till you wait till you see what it's like. Um, there's so many, like, there's, you can go for like staple cards. You can go for like a second copy of like a staple that you have, you know? Well, the second problem is that we can't play match. staples, like, because of the ban list, right? Like, yes, I well, would like to take play... like your Duster and then play no, two. No, no, you I... could play, you could play like two Ash, you could play two Judgment, you could play two Cosmic, you could play, um, yeah. I've, 
all sorts of stuff. Yeah, but Ice Dragon's really good, Doug. <laughs> You're actually... Okay, Ice Dragon's present. Okay, wait, wait, hang on. So I'm thinking Ice Dragon or Fossil Fusion to keep you off that deck, but I kind of lost to you it not only even steals needing the card. one copy you know? of it. Yeah, it only steals one copy. Right, yeah. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna go for... Uh... Wait, you have a Prosperity, don't you, Doug? I do, yeah. You can grab that. I'll go Prosperity. Okay, yeah, you I'll steal go Prosperity. prosperity. I am going to, uh, I'm just going to steal Axis Code Talker. Fuck that card. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine now. Your Axis Code Talker, our Axis Code Talker. Understandable. Okay. okay, so that'll be for next week. GG's. All right, good game, sir. I will see you again uh, next week.